Hi, Dali here. I'm just quick charging my car and if we zoom in on the station here, everything is completely fine. Nothing out of the ordinary. The station is uh, saying 7% uh, state of charge and we have charged over 8 kilowatt hours. <laughs> so we have a massive battery over 100 kilowatt hours in this leaf. Or not. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so even though the station is saying 7% state of charge, we are actually at 67% uh, state of charge. And uh, this is just me trying to fix a bug that I've been having for some time in my code related to quick charging. Uh, I'll put a link to the bug if you want to know more. But uh, in a nutshell, uh, all quick charging stations are different and uh, they display their state of charge in or by many different ways and uh, this particular station used to stop when you reach 67% state of charge. So now with my uh, code running here on a can bridge, for those of you new to the channel, uh, this car is equipped with a can bridge that is mounted here and uh, that is spoofing a lot of the signals that go between the battery and the rest of the vehicle. So it's easy to set up something like this where we are completely tricking yeah, the VCU. But uh, we're not happy with just having a static 7% uh, state of charge here. So uh, I'm gonna open the laptop and I'm gonna do some coding and let's see if we can get this battery upgrade to show exactly what it should show. Okay, so I just fired up my laptop and um, Let's talk a bit about this section of code here. So basically we have uh, two different things that is being sent from the battery to the car. Uh, the first one being a message stating how many watt hours, the 24 kilowatt hour leaf, and that the one second defaults message to 23. Is, uh, so what I'm going here right now watt is hours that I am uh, overwriting the what happens battery when you do a battery upgrade in order full to capacity. Well, get message the new battery will well. have so let's try and upload this to the car and see if it works. So I have exposed the CAN bridge here and hooked up a programmer to it. And uh, yeah, now I'm uploading the new section of code. Let's see if it works. Oh dear, I think something has gone wrong. <laughs> oh my god, I have, I, have count, I have coded a countdown state of charge percentage instead. So uh, I don't know if you caught that, but uh, the state of charge in the beginning, it uh, was at 30%, even though it should have been at 70. And now it ticked down to 29 after getting half a kilowatt hour into the battery. So it, lo it looks like I misunderstood how the capacity remaining is working. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's, it's the amount that still needs to be charged. It's it's the other way around. It's yeah. So so. Oh no! It now it went from 29 to 28. Oh man! I am bad at this. I will uh, fire up Atmel Studio and uh, try to code this again. <laughs> okay. New code. New attempt. If I have coded right this time, it should start at 73%. Uh, and if it does. I will be very happy. Holy shit, 72. Uh, I'd say that is close enough. So, nice. And uh, finally here is proof that I have uh, conquered this charging station. Uh, we're now at 74% and uh, the charger, uh, you, I don't know if you're gonna see this, but uh, it is at 73% also, 74. So, wow! Mission accomplished! So I hope you enjoyed this quick coding video. And uh, if you're a customer of mine, you should already have this latest firmware in your inbox so that you can update to it and uh, not be annoyed by fast chargers that stop prematurely due to incorrect state of charge percentage. But uh, keep in mind that all charging stations are different. So even though this is working perfectly fine here on all 
charges that I have locally. There still might be some out there in the wild that are uh, having some state of charge percentage calculation that is not utilizing this method. And also this is only for now for the uh, newer Gen 2 leaf, the one with the black interior, the one with white interior, the earliest one, the ZE0, still has issues. But this is a steady good progress increment thing towards having more bug-free battery upgrades. So, hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye!